How can we lead God's people? Who will take gospel to these people? In order to shepherd them, lead them, equip them, multiply them. And we are seeing a new day in the Church of Asia. God is doing a great work and great ministry in many, many Asian countries. So I think this is the, uh, uh, the time and the season that God is pouring His blessing and shaking this area to bless other nations as well. The need for pastoral training is the crying need of Asia. They needed some tools. They needed to be helped. They needed to be encouraged. And that's where Asian Access comes in. And I think that this focus on pastoral training also reflects our theology and our conviction that the local church is God's primary means for accomplishing His redemptive work in the world. Our best contribution to a country, whether it's got 10 million people or a billion people, is to focus on these leaders that God is using to shape the church for this next generation. We didn't have any Christians 15 years ago. We had zero Christians. And uh, the country uh, opened up when democracy came in. Now we have uh, reached uh, close to 2% of population within 15 years. As the church grows so fast, also we need the, the leader, more leader to lead all the church and to do more church planting like that. Asian access uh, really uh, do great thing in our country. 60% of the world's unreached live across Asia. And if you look at some of the Asian countries, the number of churches are very small. We need to build churches that can be reproduced by another person. So Asian Access, we are committed to developing leaders who can reproduce leaders and build churches. We identify key leaders, leaders of leaders, not potential leaders, but leaders with potential, and share what we've learned over the years. Uh, about leadership in an Asian context so that church will grow and multiply in each country. And then bless them, release them, and empower them so that uh, they will uh, impact whole Asia. I'm confident of the fact that God will continue to use Asian Access and that many pastors will learn to be accountable and be given the resources and the tools they need to develop their churches and to further the kingdom. Every Asian Access program in all the countries across Asia where we're working brings together 12 carefully selected pastors who meet four times a year for a week at a time over a two-year period. The program is in country, it's in service, it's in context, it's in community, it's intensive, and it's ongoing. The mission of Asian Access is to identify, to develop, and to release emerging kingdom leaders. That's what we do, so that they will be used of God to unite the church, to multiply leaders and congregations, and to extend the transforming power of the gospel across Asia and to the world. The focus here is on transformation, life transformation. Asian Access doesn't make leaders. We simply help to, to develop them and often help to accelerate the rate at which they grow in their understanding of and their expressions of, of leadership. This is what I would want to see in the future, where the church in the West and the church in Asia have developed a trusting relationship so that we can dream together and pray together and achieve together for His glory.